Hey guys, welcome to a video. So today we're showing what we have in my mom's garden today. And we're gonna be basically reviewing on what we want our garden to be. So I have a late start on everything and I can only do a little bit at a time because I'm a mom. So I've got Abe Lincoln tomatoes, big rainbow tomatoes, and Cherokee purple tomatoes growing in this little thing. I have uh, Black Beauty Zucchini growing in these pots in the front. And then I've got Golden Wax Beans. They're actually a really pretty purpley looking bean, but the bean on the stalk looks yellow. And then I've got Rainbow Kaleas, which are decorative. We think they're beautiful. We love them. So we, I have a bunch of those. And that pot's not labeled. Uh oh, that's a mystery pot. And then we've also got another mystery pot. So I'm not sure what I, I forgot already what I planted back there. Um, probably more Kaleas. And then I've got Brandywine tomatoes and blue fescue growing in here. Blue fescue is an ornamental grass. That is left over from last year. I didn't have any luck with those. These kind of pots require a lot of water. They dry out really fast as opposed to this type of pot. And then down here I have Red Spike Amaranth. I typoed that name. Um, it has some medicinal properties as well as being decorative. Calendula is a flower. It's medicinal and decorative. I've got Sweetie Tomatoes, which are a small sweet tomato. Chocolate Beauty Peppers. It's a bell pepper that's brown. Chocolate Striped Tomatoes. Um, in the front row of these pots is an experiment. I planted some hardy hibiscus from an old plant and then all the rest of these are parsley. This next shelf is pretty much just a junk shelf right now. That pot is, in, is just old stuff, but in this one I have light red um, kidney, kidney beans, I have chives, I have pole beans, I have yellow squash, I have cannellini beans, and I have poppies growing in that. So that's just kind of our little impromptu greenhouse. Max. There's our guard dog, Max. Uh, we actually have a greenhouse that I didn't stake down very well. And the first time I put plants in it, it blew halfway across the yard and I lost all of my seeds. So I decided to go ahead and put stuff in the shed. And I'll go ahead and let those start coming up and then I'll trans transfer them into bigger pots and put them in the greenhouse when I get the greenhouse secured a little bit better. I can't turn this video around, unfortunately. Here's one of my garden beds that I'm going to be filling. A new garden bed that I'm working on putting dirt and stuff in right here. Right now I have branches and old leaves and just old dirt. And I'll put some nice compost on top. That square of dirt in the front there is where my greenhouse was. And it blew all the way over to where it's sitting right now just the frame that I had to put back together. I haven't taken the cover yet to see if it is full of holes. I'm a little scared too, but I'll be doing that this weekend. And I have yellow onions growing in here and I just put a bunch of spinach seeds in here. This bed actually has been a huge disappointment so far. I got it from Costco. It's supposed to be self-watering. It leaks really bad. Um, it seems to be leaning. I haven't successfully grown anything in this yet. I made the mistake of planting garlic in this and garlic in a raised bed that was on the ground would probably have been fine. But being a raised bed that air gets under, all the garlic froze and then it thawed out and it was ruined. So it wasn't ready to be harvested yet. It's a lesson learned. And then this is my other bed. As you can see, it's low. I need to get some fresh compost to fill this up better. And then I'm gonna run my irrigation to these pots over here and I'll probably do herbs. And these pots, potatoes in that big pot, probably potatoes in that pot. And there's my helper Asher. So we have a long way to go. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of seeds. So if there is a seed that you would like to have, let me know and I may pick a few people to send a few free seed packs to. Just let me know what you're looking for. Have a great day. Bye.